multi-track recording, editing, mixing, mastering, music production of any kind, radio, broadcast, advertising, theater, post for film, post for video, whatever your professional audio needs are, IQS can change the way you work with audio forever. Journey with us into the world of Saw Pro. What would you say if we told you that there's a window called the Sound File View window where you can record audio, instantly play it back, zoom in so far that you can actually see and edit any sample in your sound file, and mark any or all of your sound file to create a special link called the region? And what if there were another window to place these regions called the Multitrack View window where you have up to 32 mono or stereo tracks to lay down your session? What if you had incredibly powerful and easy ways to select regions, delete them, move, or copy them? And after all the moving, copying, and editing, what would you do without 99 levels of undo? And what if you could quickly solo or mute any combination of tracks live during playback, allowing you to zero in on precisely what you need to hear? Or perhaps slide an entire track out of sequence to maybe zoom in? Display your audio waveforms and align a musical downbeat on one track with a cymbal crash on another. What if we told you you could easily control all of your mixing needs with virtual faders and pan controls and process effects such as reverb, echo and delay, compression, EQ, and use virtually hundreds of other DirectX and VST effects plugins? What about a full view window which would always display the entire current sound file waveform giving you instant access to any part of a sound file? And a regions view window which would list all of your regions, allowing you to instantly add or delete a region from the multi-track or audition any region by simply double-clicking on it. And yet another window called the sequence view window which could be used as a quick reference to multi-track entry position information and as a quick navigational tool. And what if a window called the remote transport window could exist to serve as a central playback and position control and information display tool and could remain active on top of other applications to allow you to remotely control playback and positioning functions. And what would you say if we told you that all of these windows could be displayed and accessed from one software program and on one workspace, truly bringing you the ultimate in digital audio editing capabilities? Saw Pro is that program. I'm Randy Pease. I'm the head engineer at the Reno Hilton. Arius is our show that we run here currently. It's been running for two years now, and we use the SAW system exclusively for all of our audio. The Arius show is performed six nights a week, and this is the world's largest stage. We have a complete surround sound system. Six channels of audio that we run through the house, and we also pull one track of audio off that goes through our headset system and gives light to you. When we were putting in Arius, uh, Bob Lindini actually came up and helped us design the sound and he created the show all in the room here and we have run 500 shows as of tonight and uh, we've run every one of those shows off of song. What makes Saw Pro one of the most powerful PC digital editing programs available today? Keep watching. You're about to find out. And remember, nobody said digital editing couldn't be professional and fun. 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 Saw Pro's intuitive interface design makes it easy to get started with your project. Now with Saw Pro, you'll feel the power and ease working with Saw Pro and realize the countless hours of production time this software alone will save you over using standard audio equipment. Simply click on a record button. Saw Pro allows you to record either in the sound file view or right in the multi-track. The record panel window is displayed, giving you all the options you need to start. Select your sample rate, give your sound file a name, and let the recording begin. When you're done recording, play back your file instantly. A simple right mouse click will let you hear what you just recorded. When you're ready to start editing, simply mark the area of your sound file you want to use. Easily adjust the marked boundaries to get just the section of audio you need. Then shift click, move your mouse to the multi-track, and with a single click, you lay down your first region, and you're ready to start editing your data in your multi-track. The heart of Saw Pro's non-linear, non-destructive environment. It's that easy to start your Saw session.
You'll quickly learn to manipulate regions in the multi-track, selecting, moving, slipping, and sliding. Ready for more? Click a button to display the waveforms in the multi-track. Then choose one of up to 12 programmable workspace views to make it quick and easy to see what you need to see when you need to see it. Amazing versatility right at your fingertips. Easily display a single track. Right-click to initiate playback from anywhere in the multi-track and playback in real time, anytime. Seemingly complex edits are easy in Soft Pro. Let's take a quick look at a couple of popular examples. To remove an area of silence which may contain unwanted noise, simply zoom in, split the region with a single keystroke, adjust the boundary of the region containing the silence, and in seconds you've completed your first edit without damaging or in any way affecting your original sound file data. This method of working with audio not only saves you countless hours of unnecessary processing time, but is critical to the art of non-destructive editing. Need a fade? It doesn't get any easier than this. Click and drag to select the area of your region you want to fade. Press I for fade in or press O for fade out. Done! You're left with a perfect fade which you can quickly adjust or select and move. All with easy to learn mouse moves and quick keyboard shortcuts. Press the key to step back and look at your project. Record more sound files. Create more regions. Slip, slide, and move entries in the multi-track. Add effects, EQ, reverb. Audition regions in the sound file view as fast as you can double click. And before you know it, Saw Pro will have helped you to take a project from conception to completion. Let's demonstrate a technique that could be considered complex in some environments, but in the soul environment, you'll see how simple it can be. Here we have a full music production, and we're going to zoom in a little bit and focus on some lead and background vocal performances. And that's chorus number one. Let's look at the vocal performance in chorus number two. Oh yeah, a little more excitement right there. I think I like that one better. And what we want to do is some vocal replacement. So we're going to take chorus number two and put it in place in chorus number one, replacing the data that's there. One keystroke splits the chunk that we're going to take out. Another keystroke actually removes the chunk instantly. We're working real time here, so you're seeing us do non-destructive editing right before your eyes. We'll zoom in here and find the start of this vocal performance. There it is. We're going to split that off and we're going to come to the end and we're going to split but this time we're going to keep that region in place because we actually want to leave it there and duplicate it. Now we're going to go into a mode called select mode. The cursor will change with a keystroke and you notice we can select and highlight an entry, come back to an insert point of blank space and one keystroke later simply duplicate that entry. Now let me solo these two tracks and let's listen to a playback. Okay, our data's in place, but it's not in sync. So let's see how simple it is to put these two in sync. There's the start of the word. We grab right there. Notice the vertical marking bar as we line it up to the background vocals. Very simple and quick and easy. No special windows or dialog boxes. Just simple. Zoom in, use your eyes, and the job is done. Let's step one out. Let's come out of select mode, and let's listen to our instant live playback. Oh, I feel lucky. Sounds good to me. Let's verify, take out the solo, and listen to the whole production. A good demonstration of instant, non-linear, non-destructive editing power. Tomorrow morning, 5 to 9, on KFI AM 640. Hi, I'm Don Elliott from KFI and Coast in Los Angeles. I'm the house voice for commercials and promos. I'm a hands-on kind of guy, so I get very involved with day-to-day -day production of promo work. One of the greatest things that we hadn't anticipated with SAW, once we got one in the building, everybody else wanted one or to get time on one. So as we added more units, and some of us even getting computers uh, at home, the advantage of dropping something over to a zip drive and going down the hall and continuing your work on it, or doing some work at home or a voice track and then popping it in here just to finish off, 
really expanded our capabilities. Hi, I'm Ray Vila. I work for KFI Coast Radio in Los Angeles, and I do commercial production. This is one of our production studios that we do a lot of our commercial work in. Our station has been using SAW for three and a half years. We went to Vegas to do the seminar with Bob Lentini. For us as a production group, that was invaluable to learn from the guy that actually made the SAW. What I love about it is that you can throw something up on the multi-track and get it done really quick, and it's probably the best thing that we've ever had. Hi, this is Mark Drummond. I'm the production director at KACE in Los Angeles, where we use SAW day in, day out, week in, week out, holidays, holiday nights. Sound effects are a big part of radio production. Let's see how using pre-built sound effects libraries in the soul environment can enhance your production time. Here's a bit makings of a radio spot. And and perhaps we want to add some thunder and lightning sound effects to this spot. We can simply go up to our pre-built libraries of sound effects, open it up on top of the current session. A single mouse click can now bring to the surface visually and audibly every sound effect that we have in our list. They're alphabetized, making it very instant and easy to find what we need. Now here's a piece of thunder which would work good for this production, so with a single mouse click we add that to the current session. Here's some lightning, uh, let's try this one, I like that better, so we simply pick and add that to the current session, close down the library, and look at how quickly we can enhance this production spot. We come down here, we grab our thunder with a shift click, we slide it up to the multi-track, Let's go down and get our lightning, and again a shift click drags it to the Moly track. In a matter of seconds, we've completed this production. Saw Pro sound effect libraries are a great way to shave hours off your production time. Another area where Saw can save the day is in the salvage of performances otherwise lost to unwanted noise. Ladies and gentlemen. Or static discharge. Ladies and gentlemen. Such as this nasty spike we have right here. Saving this performance in the soul environment is a simple procedure. A couple of mouse clicks away, notice how quickly we can place the cursor and zoom in. And if we continue zooming, we find ourselves in what we call sample edit mode. Here you can see each sample and what's more, simply grab and shift drag each sample into position literally effectively reshaping the background ambience that should have been there instead of the spike. Notice how quick and easy the job can be accomplished. You're not using external processors that process the whole vocal track. You're simply fixing the one bad area and rendering an otherwise useless performance Ladies and gentlemen, into something perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, Saw Pro can truly revolutionize the way you work with audio. Hi, I'm Francis Buckley, and welcome to Home Sweet Home Studios. Uh, my setup here at Home Sweet Home is the Elisa Sadat M20s connected to the Yamaha O2R VO light pipes, all connected into SAW using a Frontier Design Wave Center card. Between those three, I can get everything I need to do done. I can transfer everything 20-bit from the ADATs into SAW and back out of SAW to ADAT quickly and easily to do whatever job comes my way. I use SAW for all my mixing. I mix directly into it right off of the digital outputs of the O2R. Saw Pro also offers an exciting alternative way of mixing completely in the virtual environment in case you care to eliminate the need for physical mixing consoles altogether. Let's look how easy it is to do a virtual mix session. First thing we're going to do is patch in a meter bridge plug-in on the output track so that we can get a reference level. Notice we're peaking here, so what we're going to do is grab the output master fader and we're going to get ourselves down into a good working area somewhere in the middle of our range. We can begin now individually adjusting each track. Notice, without stopping playback, Saw allows you to go down to each track. Here's the kick drum. We pop up our offset fader and we raise the kick drum a little bit. We're going to come on down and get the snare in position. Essentially, we work here very much as, as we would on a real console. Here we got the lead guitar, we're going to drop that, and here it comes now. Here's the background vocals, I'm going to stop for a second, going back, and there they are in position. Now you notice as we're building this mix, we keep an eye on the meters, just as we would on the console. We're peaking again, so we're just going to go down to our output track, and we're going to just drop the level a little. And there is our basics for setting up the beginnings of a full music mix without a console. 
Now, let's take a look at some of the incredible detailed mixing control that Saw Pro offers as well. Once you get to this level of your basic mix set and position, now look at the power that you have when you get down to the detailed control of individual offline mixing automation. For instance, let's stop here and come into this snare crack that's right here in the middle of this mix. And what we're going to do is pop up a slope table. Now we're going to pick a high slope value. Slopes, by the way, control the speed of how the fader moves. Using a fast slope, we can raise the volume of this snare drum and drop the volume just milliseconds away. And notice incredible control and power way beyond the capability of motorized or automated mixing faders. Also, we can mark and remove any of these elements that we might apply and therefore change our mind and try different combinations. Notice as I'm placing my cursor wherever I care to place it, I can grab the fader, move up, down, anything I need to do, much more detail than you could possibly hope to imagine with even moving fader automation. Now also, with a simple keystroke, we can go before each of these moves and create a beautiful transitional fade to and from these moves. Now, what we're going to look at here is the slope value itself. Lower slope numbers create a slower transition very much like a miniature fade. By the way, each of these slope values are less than a thousandth of a dB in the Sol Pro environment, thereby creating